Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I'm Blocko. And I'm Sabrina from the YouTube channel Nerdy and Quirky. And we're here to teach you a little bit about colorblindness. There's nothing I love more than seeing the sunset at the end of the day, but for some people, these sunsets might not be so spectacular. See, in the retina of our eyes, we have light detecting cells called cones. These cones contain three different types of photopigments, which are sensitive to different wavelengths of visible light. And while the wavelengths detected by each cone tend to overlap, it is easy for us to categorize the cones as being red, green, or blue. If you have normal color vision, your red, green, and blue cones are all working properly, and you'd be called a trichromat. However, some people are dichromats, meaning that they only have two types of cones instead of three. This typically affects about 2% of the male population, who are either missing their red or green cones. These people can't distinguish between red, orange, yellow, and green, which definitely makes those sunsets a lot less interesting. A more common form of color blindness is called anomalous trichromacy, which affects about 6% of males. And this is where the famous red-green color blindness belongs. People with this have all three types of cones, but some of the wavelengths covered by the green or red cones are shifted. And if the wavelengths from the green cones are shifted, you can think of the person as being green weak. It'll be hard for them to notice small differences between red and green, but it's not as severe as dichromacy. And since the red and green pigment genes are located on the X chromosome, men are much more likely to have color blindness. After all, women have two X chromosomes, so both would have to be defective for them to be colorblind. So if you are a man watching this, take a look at this picture. If you can see a two in the center, you probably have normal color vision. But if not, you may want to go to the eye doctor to get officially tested. Contrary to popular belief, color blindness doesn't mean that you see the world in shades of gray. That does happen sometimes, but it's much less common. Anyway, so tell me in the comments if you had to describe the color green to someone who's colorblind, what would you say? And are you colorblind? Do you have any experiences you'd like to share? Let us know in the comment section below, and if not, tell us what you would like us to talk about next. And make sure you go check out this amazing video from Sabrina talking about the science of Two-Faced. Could he actually exist in real life? Well, click that to find out. Her videos are amazing. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain and web hosting needs. And because you're a beautiful individual and watch Life Noggin, we can get you 20% off new domains, web hosting, and email by using the code NOGGIN when you check out. So, go make something awesome, and when you think domain names, think Domain.com. I'm Blocko. I'm Sabrina. And this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.